In this lesson, let's talk about how to create a button and buttonhole and fasten them together in this part. The buttons are here, the comments on here, and you can undock them. <clears throat> okay, I want to create a button here, then buttonhole here, and then fasten together. We are going to edit swing, select this swing, and delete it to make this part open. Like this, as you can see, it's really open. Nice. <clears throat> Let's create first button and then button hold, then go and check its settings. Button. Here you can create a button in 2D and in 3D. For example, in a 2D is better. As you can see, when I click, you can create your first button here. And we need a corresponding button hole at the other part. Nice. But if you go with select in here, if you go to move and edit tool, then you can select it. If you go to <clears throat> edit button tool here, if you click and drag, you just select the button. You cannot select anything there, just button. If you want to create corresponding button hole, you can go in here and select button hole and create a button hole here, as you can see. But we don't need this method because we have a better method here. You can go into edit button, then right click. <coughs> we have some tools that are corresponding to the button. First, as you can see, you can duplicate to the symmetry pattern. Just duplicate the symmetry pattern because these two parts are <coughs> symmetry, don't forget. And duplicate as a buttonhole to the symmetry pattern or directly convert it to the buttonhole. We need this duplicate buttonhole to the symmetry pattern like this. But we can edit it very well. And then you can fasten it together. First, select edit and select it. As you can see, if the select button, we have a little <clears throat> sitting here that you can change the angle, get rotated. You can change the thread length if you want. And you can change the style. And of course, we need the collision to that. And this is a 2D measurement for left, right, you can turn it on as you can see it's measurement from center to uh, edges outlines you can turn it on if you want so these are very uh, easy settings but we have more if you select the button hole we have exactly this setting and you can change the position of that nice and you can change the style that I explained it here and you can measure it from center to edges to outlines. Uh, bind position, it means if you want to fasten this button to the this button hole, this center is going exactly and binding and fasten exactly in a 50% center. Look at this, we have a small dot here that you can change it. For example, you can change the binding here. If you fasten this button to the this button hole, it's come here. So we need to bind and fasten exactly at the middle of the button hole. So this is very simple sitting when you click button and button hole. But if you go here to the main window of the button, as you can see, we have a default button with a lots of sitting there that we have to explain it. This is a default button. You can add a lot of button here and change their setting. And if you go into the button hole, then you can change, select from here. So we don't need to them, you can delete them. Button, default. First of first, you can change the shape. As you can see, we have a lot of shape that you can, uh, use for your button nice and here you can insert any 3d shape that i will be explaining in the next lesson thread typing as you can see we have a thread here 
you can change it to cross parallel as you can see or square specification you can change the width you can make it smaller or bigger as you can see smaller button or <clears throat> bigger button here you can change the thickness of that button uh, millimeter as you can see you can change the thickness of that and the weight it's a one gram you can simulate it and here look at you can make it very heavier as you can see it fall down because it's real heavy make it the one simulate to bring it back <clears throat> and yeah it's very simple and we have a material you can use a pbr or substance but in the button you don't need to material you can change the math method it's important but you can do it here we have a material of thread or material thread or material button here you can you add a texture to that normal to that displacement map don't need you can change the color opacity i will explain them before here you can use a thread you don't if you want to use the simple but thread we don't have a metal you can untick that use the same material no and here you can assign a texture or your color here if you want to better see that so you can go in here and add another button and change it uh, properties and use it in your project Another window that we have here is a buttonhole. As you can see, exactly like a button, we have a lot of buttonholes sitting here first. You can change the shape of the button. You can use the shape of that, any shape that you want. You can change the width, smaller or bigger. You can change, of course, its material, fabric mat. If you need the displacement map, if you need a color, yeah, for example, a darker blue, if you want. Any color that you want, you can create it from here. You can change the color, opacity, and we don't need them because it's a thread. It's a thread. And that's it. It's very simple. Okay. Now, let's talk about how we can fasten them together. As you can see, if you go into the fasten button, uh, as you can see, you can co come here and select first button. Then as you can see, we have an arrow here. You can go to connect it and snap it directly to the uh, <clears throat> buttonhole. And if you click, it's automatically going and snap there. My suggestion is this. Before simulation, it's fast. Before simulation, please bring this part of the fabric below the uh, buttonhole. A little up. That's nice to help the simulation to correct and then simulate. And now, as you can see, it's nice. <clears throat> and done. But we need actually, it's wrong. It has to go in below this. And that's right. And then after that, we can change this distance. You can select your button, turn it off. You can collision. Yeah, that's right. Going to the button, button, select it. Weight, thickness, nice, everything is calm. Correct, okay. After that, if you want to clone it as a button to all pattern, it's very simple. First, you have to go to button edit tools here. 
you learn it in a Marvel Seasonal or Clue 3D. If in any button here, any comment here, <clears throat> that we have this um, cursor mouse here, it means this is edit tool of that. So we need edit tool, select it. You can right click, copy, and then Control V to paste it. As you can see, you can paste it. Before paste, you can hold on Shift to make it straight. And before clicking, or right clicking. And you learn it, and you can create interval. Of course, we don't need to have lots of point, and you can change the interval and hit OK. And as you can see, we have an little so, uh, button here. We can go to fabric and add a default fabric, attach it to the disk to better sync the button. We are in a edit for fasten them. You can select all of them. And we need corresponding button hold. Right click and duplicate as a button hold here. You can select them by one by one and edit them, but it's very easy. You can fasten them at once, all of them at once. You can select, click and drag all, uh, all button like this. And as you can see, we have an arrow automatically a snap to button hold. And as you can see, all of them will be a snap together. But we have an issue here that you have to be for simulation uh, them correct. That's very easy. Okay, this is the simple tool for fastening the button and button hole in Marvel Design. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.